56 Group 2 State Championship team. Captain Jim Benson. Captain Steve Hess. Bob Williamson. Jim Haas. John Scarano. Bill Free. Dr. Theodore Pearl. And Dr. Paul Levinsky. And from the 1975 state championship team, Tim Bannon. From the 1976 conference and state championship team, selected as the number one overall team in the state as a group two team, first is Rick Friedman, represented by his parents, Marv and Phyllis. Lou Alfano. Martin, Richard O'Neill, Steve Boyle, and Steve Farrell. From the 1981 Conference and State Championship team, co-captain Tom McSpirit. Co-captain Mike Festa, yeah. Brian Crazy, yeah. Scott Stiefel, yeah. Jeff Stiefel, yeah. and Mike Milano. Yeah. Our main honoree of the evening is responsible for building Verona soccer into a powerhouse from the 1950s up through the early 1980s. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome George Steppy Stiefel. <laughs> Steppy's 11 conference championships came in 1961, 62, 63, 69, 70, 72, 73, 76, 77, 78, and 1981. His seven state championships were recorded in 1958 and 1959 as a group three school. In 1957, 60, 66, and 76 as a group two school, and in 1981 as a group one school. His career coaching record was 372 wins, 157 losses, and 86 ties, and holds the school record for the most soccer coaching wins. He coached 33 seasons, including 27 winning seasons, and put together a streak of 19 winning seasons from 1965 through 1983. His teams in 1968 and 74 also came close to adding to those state championship banners, but lost in the state final. Other highlights of his career included winning four consecutive state championships, from 1957 through 1960. Coaching the 1976 team that was selected as the number one team in New Jersey, despite being only a group two team. That same year, he was all selected as the coach of the year by the Herald News and the New Jersey Soccer Coaches Association. Coaching the 1981 state championship team, which his son Scott and Jeff played on. 
He won a state championship in four different decades. And two of his former players were captains of NCAA national championship soccer teams. Also in his honor, the Sportsmanship Award given to each Verona soccer player each year. From now on, will be named the George Stiefel Sportsmanship Award. from one of his players, Jim Benson. In 1964, I was a sophomore on JV, but was brought up to varsity as a result of Steppy throwing a bunch of players off the varsity for breaking team rules. The players who were thrown off the team were really good players, and the team was favored to win a state title that year. But once they were off the team, VHS really struggled. I think we won only four games all season. But that set the stage for another championship two seasons later. The disciplining incident was talked about for years and the players found out they couldn't take liberties with Steffi's rules. In looking back on my high school soccer days, it is clear to me that winning a state championship had quite an impact on who I became. I remember that on the day that we won the Group 2 title, I was walking out of the locker room at VHS and thought to myself, wow, I'm part of a championship team. This may be the biggest thing I've ever done in my life. I was 17 at the time, but this achievement of winning that state championship was something that I often look back on and use as an encouragement in the other endeavors in my life. I never saw Steffi lose his temper. He got aggravated with us at referees, etc., but he always was a gentleman. He never swore at his players. He never let us argue calls. He might talk to her up at halftime if he had a question about a call, but he was always cool. I don't remember any players getting mad at a ref or an opponent and losing our cool. We just knew that Steppy was in control. If there was a problem, he would take care of it. Our job was to just go out and play, and that's exactly what we did. At this time, VHS, VHS Athletic Director Gary Farisian will present a plaque to Steppy with all of his coaching accomplishments, which also states Verona High School recognizes today, October 5th, 2010, as George Steve Bolt Knight, and appreciates his dedication and commitment to VHS soccer and shaping the lives of many by seeking excellence and instilling traditional values. Ladies and gentlemen, let's stand and congratulate a great teacher, a great coach, and a legend, George Stephanie. Thank you.